Right, okay, good afternoon, folks. Um, it's December, the 1st of December, and we're down in Worcester for the um, Victorian Fair. Kicking off with uh, Tom Wilson's uh, Safco Dance and Smile Frogs. Looks like we're just about to start going. It was supposed to open at 12 o'clock this afternoon, but you know what fairs are like. Never on bloody time. <laughs> well, firing it all up. We're getting going. Right, so Dance and Smile, Safco, built in Spain in uh, 2005. So, looks like we're just about to get everything warmed up, get it all tested out. Right, let's go for a wander around the fair then and see what we've got down here today then. Now I've only popped down here just to do uh, the day vlog, just to walk through. Um, take a few photos we'll be doing a uh, another vlog of this fair uh, we'll be doing a nighttime one so do keep your eyes open on the channel fun fair audits right are we gonna go are we gonna send it just to test it out ladies and gentlemen the show is about to begin. Well, I think he's just trying to get the oil through it. <laughs> Whoa. Right, well, let's, uh, let's go and have a wander while we're waiting for that to kick off. While it's quiet, might be able to just get on a couple of things and let you have a, a closer look. Dance and smile. Really good set of frogs, this one. I'm not saying it's uh, any better than a lot of uh, frogs you get around the country, but when you've got operators like this who know how to run a set of frogs, this one is undoubtedly the best one in the country as far as I'm concerned. Runs a really good cycle and runs it ever so well. Right, let's have a look at uh, William Porter's um, Dodgems, built in Poland, CBK Technic. Uh, manufactured in uh, 2019, I think. Full service with a smile. No, I ain't going to take the mickey out of my mechanic. He does a good job on my car. Yeah, 2021 this was manufactured. Polish company. Pop your token in the slot. Left hand drive, you got your left foot on the pedal on these. Oh, my mate's down here on the um, Evo.
Right again, Tom Wilson. Evo Lucian. Forearm to Voli. All right, Chief, all right. Forearm to Voli, mind you, in uh, 2006. These are manufactured in Spain. No, it's not. I'm thinking, I'm thinking of the frogs. Now this is manufactured in the UK. <laughs> Extreme danger. There is a height restriction on this one. I would say height wise you probably need to be about four, about five foot. Maybe just under. Now I've been very rude and uh, I've walked straight past a couple of the side stalls while we're here. Got a set of bungees for the uh, for the kids. There's a mini wheel. We haven't got that one started yet. Now this fair's on, um, it's Thursday today, Thursday the 1st of uh, December. And the fair will be on uh, Thursday, Friday and Saturday. I'm not sure. You'll have to check on the local news for Worcester as to whether this fair is open on Sunday or not. But it is open on the Sunday, is it? Yeah, yeah, okay, so we are open Sunday. Right, knock a stack off the shelf to win any prize. Yeah, you're supposed to say that, not me. <laughs> She's saving her voice. It's all right, I'm going back home on the train. I haven't been on a train for about four years. It was, it was all a rather different experience going on an electric train. Hook the ducks! Right, spinning him round, we got um, William Porter's screen machine, uh, fair trade waltzer. Again, fair trade manufactured in uh, Bristol in the UK, down the West Country. Screen machine, this one was manufactured in uh, 2019. Now, fair trade have started making uh, waltzes now that have got the external pay boxes. They still do have a centre in the middle, but I think that's just for storage. But on these uh, slightly older ones, including this one, uh, the pay box you have got in the centre, though you probably end up paying in the car. Right, a couple of juvies up the top, Racerama. Let's give it a spin, see whether it's got the brakes on. No, we're away. Yeah, oh blimey, yeah. Hardly touch that, that's really spinning well. Yeah, good job I'm not in charge of one of these, I'd make someone chuck up on this one. Right, race Rama. Welcome to Radiator Springs. Now, unlike um, the lineup that we had on uh, 2017, before all hell let loose, we don't have a um, 
an extreme down here anymore. That was owned by uh, William Porter. It sounds like he's uh, sold that now. Now wherever you go, you're not going to be short of food because this is a very big, sprawling market. You're going to be talking over 100,000 people coming to this over the weekend. Well that's going to be all through the high street, but you've certainly got a few uh, food outlets down here on the, um, on the fair itself. Monster Jam. No, I've never got anything better to do. <laughs> right, we've got a big wheel down here. Now, as soon as we've got plenty of time, this is going to be a short vlog, I'll uh, read you the information that we got on the board for this one. In 1893, W.E. Sullivan visited the Columbian Exhibition where he marvelled at the original Ferris wheel like George Ferris. Mr. Sullivan owned a bridge building business, Eli Bridge Company, as he took his first ride on Mr. Ferris's wheel. Little did he know that his life was about to change forever. Despite scepticism from his family and the business community, Sullivan remained fascinated by the wheel and it was determined by one of his own. He later collaborated with machinist James H. Clements and together they began the uh, construction of the wheel on March the 23rd, 1900. Eli Bridge Company was originally housed in a building in Roadhouse, Illinois located right next door to the railroad tracks for easy shipment and delivery. In 1919, a new building was erected at 800 Kent Avenue in Jacksonville, Illinois, also next to the railroad tracks. And they've been doing business at that address ever since. And the plans included a room tall enough in which Sul Sullivan erects a five or 12 wheel. The building has several additions and now is a 76,000 square foot facility. In the early 1950s, big Eli wheels started to venture into the UK and uh, this uh, wheel was actually made in 1950, by the way. So yeah, in the 1950s, the big, old wheel, big Eli wheels started to venture into the UK. The wheels became an instant success and so much so that the Luss, or Luss, it's spelled L-U-S-S-E, Brothers Company, ride manufacturers of Blackpool, England, began to produce the Big Eli wheels under licence for the UK showman's market. So this Ferris wheel that you can see, uh, this right here, um, Luss Brothers version, it was one of the twin wheels that was presented to the famous Nottingham Goose Fair for approximately 40 years. Uh, by the late showman Billy Williams uh, from North Wales. Um, it was taken over by the showman, uh, the late Ronnie Weston, in 1960. Uh, and it's still owned, actually, by the um, Weston family. This one's owned by uh, Brandon Weston. Um, so all major fairs, carnival shows and private corporate events around the UK. So that's your Ferris wheel then. Uh, like I say, 1950, uh, Brandon uh, Weston. We've got a slip next door to it. That's owned by uh, W. Rowland. Now another thing you'll find down on this fair is a lot of the uh, showmen will be, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> a lot of the showmen will be wearing Victorian costume. 
Mostly it'll all be black and white stuff. Right, finally, um, we come down to the Gallopers. Now, this was down in Loughborough, Lawrence Bishton's 1890 set. There is a vlog on the channel, a POV on the channel for this one. Now, obviously, the uh, the organ on this one's a lot newer than the uh, than the ride itself. Uh, we're all quiet. Let's uh, let's just jump up and let you have a look at the um, the old engine on this one. All right, mate. How you doing? So there you go. Is your old boiler that uh, they'd have originally had to pay with this one, Rachel Ann. Like I said, this was down at uh, Loughborough. He's getting nervous, he sat on his chair thinking, for God's sake, don't film me. <laughs> yeah, nice pretty one, this one. Little does he know that I know damn well that he was on the video when I filmed it down in Loughborough. <laughs> and somebody walked in front of me as well, he'd done that before. <laughs> Whoops. So, there you go. Built it's in uh, King's Lynn, this one, uh, by a company called Savages. Right, now let's uh, get off here before he turns it on, just to try and uh, wind me up. Oh, it does actually say on the plate there, folks. Um, Savages, number 2002 engineers, St. Nicholas Ironworks, King's Lynn. Right, let's get out of the way then. <laughs> let's try not to... Bash into him. <laughs> yep, nice one. Right, let's get him down then. Right, so when you come off this uh, section here, uh, then you'll start heading into the uh, the main market itself. Lots of Victorian stores. It's going to be a lot of food stalls, craft stalls. There are quite a few cider stalls. Watkins comes down here. He sells a nice one. Stoke Red. I haven't been down to see Dennis for a long time. Right, so yeah, horses and golden uh, cockerels. <laughs> okay. Right, looks like the walls is just about to open up. Hey. Screen machine. Right, okay, flo uh, folks, I'll um I'll leave it there. We'll be coming back and doing a nighttime vlog. Uh, keeping an eye on the weather forecast, but it looks like the next three days are going to be nice and dry. So I do pop down. Got some decent rides down here. Yep. Do uh, share the videos around. Click the like button, subscribe to the channel, we'll uh, pop you another uh, vlog up, probably on Saturday night. Cheers for now folks, fun fair audits, out. <laughs>